Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Cantabrian Crusades in Crusader Kings 2. So, uh, we're gonna have to, you know, win this war somehow, or at least try not to die. Oh, and of course now, my co-conspirator, Bishop Monio, while we're under attack, has decided now is the time to use a maid near him for a princely sum. Yeah, okay, let's murder the boy. You should almost always be trying to murder somebody. Our cousin's out. He should like us a little bit better now that he's no longer in prison. He's still ambitious. And he still has his claims on our title, but... Success! He was smothered by a pill with a pillow by the maid we had bribed. She wasn't caught. No one has any reason to place blame on me. Uh, we have word from a seven-year-old. The Count, Count Gestin of Karenev wants to join our war. We accept. Join us. All right. Now next is, uh, how many have you been making more babies? You have not, and I am now your heir. Baron Nuno. So obviously they both hate me, because I murdered their only child. Ah, uh, but you know, such is life. Uh, let's plot to kill him now as well. Potential plot power is hopefully going to be high enough, we'll see. It's a conspiracy, man! It sure is. Now, part of my concern is that he might just throw a big old 8 stack up this way and just smash our army and there's nothing we can do. Um, and we can really only afford this army. Again, we're losing 20 ducats a month, so we got 10, mo 10 months worth of funding, unless we siege stuff down. And it's going to be rather difficult to find things to siege down, unless we go for, like, his capital. I don't really think we can do that. Our Chancellor's dead. Or left, for some reason. Baroness... Ron Ild of San Pedro de Bri had inherited the barony. Okay, it looks like our, our guy died. Not the guy that we wanted to die. Just the Chancellor died. Okay, why don't you go try to butter him up. What kind of terrain do we have? We mountains over here. I mean, we could try to go to siege down Moria. Sorry, Soria. Supply limit is 8, and uh, before we marched off to war, we impregnated our woman. As such, such as you do, if you've ever watched uh, Spartacus, you know that that's what you do. The day before you go to war, you, everyone sleeps with their wives, and then they come home and there's new babies. That's, that's true, it's what happened. What am I looking for? I'm looking for supply limit. <laughs> there is no supply limit map mode in this game, is there? No, for some reason there isn't, and you've got to just click on each province. So, 12.6k, plenty. That's right. In the year 776, this province could hold 12,600 people in it. In EU4, it could probably only hold like 9,000 in 1444. Because, you know, supply limits are kind of arbitrary. I'm sure there's a reason. It's about, like, game balance or something. Okay, well, um, I'm very concerned. Very concerned about the state of affairs. Yep, there's the 6k. I was worried about. So this is the Holy War for Galicia. The war goal is the Duchy of Galicia. He's trying to take these two provinces from us. And that's all he can take if he wins. Our eldest is now eligible for an education. Um, even though our 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 actual like um, what do you call this thing again? Our education trait is horrible. I'm gonna educate him myself so that I can hopefully control him a bit. Oh, excellent! He's assaulting! Oh, beautiful! Look at all the troops that he just lost. You know what? We might need to just march over there and go and, uh... fight that army. Excellent news. A tithe on, on command. That's great. I would love if you would just, you know, go ahead and assault something else. So we got seven whole ducats there. We're going to assault this thing because it's going to be easy and uh, we need the money as well. I think we lost far less than he did in our assaults. Okay. Another little bit of money. We have another son. This one is also not strong. He looks just like his, his uh, slightly older brother. What other males do we have in our dynasty? Petro, my grandfather. Sure.
All right, from here, I think we're going to have to get ready to go just try to fight him. Before we do that, can we do a release, re-raise, and actually get a few extra troops? we got four stuff there that we could fight in. I mean, the numbers don't look good, but we really have no choice here. Again, I'm hoping that he wants to assault. Or that our reinforcements will get down here. We can hold out for six months. We accept your offers to join. Join us in the crusade. Basically all of Brittany has come to our defense. Hey, you guys are marching the wrong way. Why are you going to Nantes? Come back. Hmm. These numbers just do not look good. Who do we have? We've got Ragno. He is a brave man. We've got... Witiza. He's also brave. And then another guy over here is brave and patient. Let's go through our military guys and just see if there's any chance we can appoint some better commanders before we commit to this fight. Commander Assur is cruel. You know, it might be easiest to actually use the fine character interface. Let's search for the search through the realm for men that aren't currently in prison, any marriage, any ruler. Any religion, any culture, must be an adult, any great house. We'll sort by military rank. So my marshal. He's got 16, but, you know, he's really no different than the other modifiers. I'm looking for, for good modifiers to combat. Like, here we go. Leo Degrius, narrow flank leader. Defense, 31%. He's someone else's marshal, so I can't actually bring him up, can I? But we, would, we need to call upon you, man. We need your help. Well, for now, what I guess I'll do is I'm going to have our marshal stop training troops. We'll have him come lead us, lead some combat. He's got personal combat skill of two. Maybe he'll murder someone on the field of battle. And right now it's uh, Wititsa who has 14.5% morale defense versus 16% morale damage. Or we could use this guy. But he's already in charge. Then again, um, we have two mercenary companies, so shouldn't there be another leader available here? Personal combat skill of six, my gosh. That might actually be better. I don't know. I've not experienced the personal combat skill. But let's go see what happens. Luck be a lady. Roll well. 4,000 brave Christians versus 5,000 Sunni. What do we got? The Saxon band is attacking with flaming fists. They have only one commander. Sheikh Yusuf of Soria. How's it going? It's hard for me to really tell. Without, without leaders, I feel like we should have a chance, but... Okay, we've finally entered the melee phase. Our right flank is just getting crushed. Absolutely destroyed. And we're totally boned. Yeah, uh, that went really, really, really poorly. We killed 1,200 men and lost 3,600. So, that's not good. That could have gone much better. Crusades. 
of Cantabria are going to start even slower now. And now we have a dangerous faction, because now is clearly the perfect time to, uh... Hey, oh, you guys are going to come down here, huh? You're just going to wait until after we lose our first fight. That's cool. Well, good news is we can afford the mercenaries for a while longer now. Let's send our guy back to train up some more troops. Maybe he'll be able to get a few. A new bird has arrived. And a new book on the art of writing poetry is in the library. Okay. Now it doesn't really seem like the right time for that. We're in the midst of some crusades. Are you unfamiliar with the crusade that, that he's attacking us? Oh, my, my reputation is ruined. We're still trying to murder that man, but he's got all these troops that I need. There's hundreds of them there. This book about poetry is really boring. <laughs> it is filled with do's and do nots. I just wanted to throw it out the window. Uh, sure, let's go take the bird out for some hunting. We have negative 89 war score. My gosh. That battle of Mondaneto was just atrocious. My prisoner is complaining. Uh, oh, I have prisoners? Right. I need money. You may have the children back. I'll give you your child. I'll also give I'll give you your woman. My liege, my mission to Rome so far has been a success. During my visit to the Pope, I've seemed to have managed to make him understand what a kind and benevolent ruler you are, or whatever. So the Pope loves us. He sees what's happening. Pope man, would you like? Oh, it's not the Pope Man. I want to talk to Pope Man. Pope Man! Pope Man's at 31 opinion. Pope Man! I need help. Hey, it's not my fault that I have the wrong type of investiture. I didn't choose that. So the problem is, he's going for the war goal. He's going to have a ticking war score if he actually finishes occupying all that. And this 3,500 troops is going to just come over and wreck us now. Altogether, we only have 2,000. It's too little too late. I mean, if they had been there when we fought the first battle, the, the primary battle, we might have had a chance. We still do have both, both mercenary companies, and they are slowly replenishing. I suppose we could go for the war goals. Sure, if that's where he's going, let's go there. Stop by and impregnate the wife on the way. So far, she's been pretty fantastic. Nothing but, nothing but girls. I know that I am great and deserve respect. I have gained the proud trait. Alright, cool. And I corresponded with my, my half-brother. He likes us now. Alright, here comes the probably bad thing. Maybe... Oh, yeah. Okay, we lost. So, because he got to 100% from taking back those provinces, and that battle was so atrocious, he was already at 100%, and he just immediately was able to win. Uh, so war is a little different in Crusader Kings 2, if you haven't played a lot of this game. Um, it's just, it's different. So, we're going to disband all the levies, including the mercenaries. We have a, a truce now with, um, with him. With the guy who actually declared the war, which is going to be Sultan Abdullah, that guy. Actually, no, we have a truce. Yeah, we have a truce with Count Moratag. Yeah, this guy has a truce with us. But the thing is, like, if this guy, the the Emir of Portugal, decided to attack me, he could, because he technically, as a character, doesn't have a truce against us. So now we just have, you know, issues with our cousin again, and we have less land available than we had before. We really need to, you know, make this this guy die. He has another kid. Let's plot to kill that one instead. I need your land. And these women. What are we going to do about these women?
Hmm. Well, we could try to... Oh, that's the wrong guy. Wrong province. Oh, hey, it's our first daughter. Araka. Do we have anyone in our family that was named Araka? Now, hold on. I don't understand why this, this thing has changed, because I know I have a sister. My half-sister's dead, my half-brother. Should he not be on the same level as I am? And why is he up here? Like my own kids it's just going down the list instead of putting them beneath me it's doing weird things on this thing well I guess yeah I guess it Araka's fine now that we've got three boys let's change over to a different focus see if maybe we can get some more power let's do some hunting focus we made some babies, we're happy. One of them came out strong, and we're gonna have to recover this land at some point, but... You know, I'm a bit scared, still, about attacking somebody like that. He's obviously way too strong. He's got two more holdings than he's allowed to have. This guy down here broke free. Like he kept some of that land for himself, too. What a greedy little bastard. Well, the good news is we have some prestige. Um, we have babies. In the future, we're going to be able to marry off our daughter probably to a Carling and see if we can get either West Francia or Middle Francia to become our ally. And then the next time we go to war, hopefully we'll have someone to come in with some firepower and actually put this down. We could also, hopefully, if we can, marry one of our sons to a daughter of the Carlings, bring her over. My son lacks all, am all passion and ambition, perfectly content with his lot in life. Uh, no, that will not do. Alright, we're trying to murder the baby. The girl. Kill her. She seems like a horrible person. We failed. We'll try again. Let's see how our boys are shaping up now. Our son is a uh, 222, strong. Should be good. I think we're going to change the election to him probably about the time that he comes of age. If that whelp would die, we will need to buy the loyalty of someone unscrupulous nearby, like a maid or guard. Well, it said somebody else gave me the coin, so. I don't know why we got two pop-ups. Come on, Spy Master. It's my Spy Master and my wife and I all working together. We got caught plotting again. And I would have gotten away for it too if it wasn't for pesky children. Some consolatory baby making with my wife. Yeah, the Pope likes us a little bit better. Attempted murder of parent, attempted murder. It's going to go back a long way. We're just not friendly with this guy. He looks like a patrician to me with that symbol, the Baron symbol. Well, we're going to have to take a break here um, and just kind of fast forward time a bit to get these kids up to age so that we can actually marry off and get some, some alliances and stuff. 
and see if we can get some help against the Umuyad. So, thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you again in the next one, see you soon.